What's up guys, my name's John and you're watching Whisper Tactical. I'm back out on the range out here in the country today and I'm pretty excited because I have a new channel toy. Before we get into this video guys, I'd appreciate it if you'd go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment down below and hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. This here in this box was called the Glock 44 Killer and God do I hope that is true. As much as I love Glock, they are my favorite handgun manufacturer. I was very disappointed in the Glock 44, but here we have the Taurus TX-20 and I am really excited to shoot this little 22. I can't stand it. I, I just, I've wanted to shoot this thing for like a week now and I, it's just been eating at me so I had to make a special trip. In my eyes it's it's already beat the Glock 44 in so many different ways. First of all it comes with two 17 round magazines over the 10 round magazines. Far better ergonomics. I mean it already comes with an undercut. I mean it's just your hand it just sinks right into this gun and it's not expensive. This gun is about a hundred dollars cheaper than the Glock 44. It also has a metal slide which to me is a lot better it has adjustable rear sights it comes with a threaded barrel you don't have to pay an extra hundred and sixty four dollars like I did to get the Glock threaded barrel so when I bought the Glock it was like three hundred and seventy five four hundred bucks and then I paid an extra like one sixty four for the threaded barrel so all in all guys I almost had six hundred dollars in a Glock 44 that it wouldn't even run it ran sometimes it'd pick up and go and other times it just wouldn't I was very disappointed in that 600 bucks for that setup versus 274 for this setup i can already tell you right now this magazine is going to be loading these magazines is going to be one of those things well you know what Probably should have put my eyes in for that. All right, guys, we are loaded up with the Winchester M22. These are supers. They are not subsonics. Curious to see how this little guy runs. Up next, I've got some Remington subsonics. I want to see how quiet this little guy can actually be. Oh, we had a failure. It's better. It's getting on my nerves. Okay, so this is already getting on my nerves. I can tell you that. Getting on my nerves bad. What a group. Holy cow. I'm going to go spray paint that and I'm going to do that again. I can't describe at how good of a group that was. All of my ammo is all over the ground now. I'm not picking that up and running through it. It's just 22 ammo. Let me get this blazer out here. You know what? Let's try some Remington Golden Bullet. How about that? Guys, for some reason I was thinking these were 17 round magazines. They are not 17 round magazines. One, maybe it's 17 rounds, it's 16 plus one. All right, so we're loaded up with some Remington Golden Bullet. I'm gonna see if I can't reshoot that group again. See what that suppressor does? It throws bullets. Yeah, that suppressor, every now and then, it'll it'll hook bullets. It's weird, it's weird. I'm gonna shoot the head of the other one, see if I can't get that group again.
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna take the suppressor off and see if I can't do a little bit better because that's a four inch group. I mean, I'm not extremely excited about that group, but with a can on it that's having problems, I'll definitely take it. I'm gonna go center mass. See what I'm talking about? I aimed center mass and it completely missed, unless I shot directly through one of those holes. I doubt it. I may have. Dang, that was even tighter than the first group. That's about three inches down there. Now, let's try these subs. Now I'm gonna aim, I will just aim down low on the other plate. Guys, this little thing is starting to run crazy good. We're gonna aim at the head and see what we can get with these blazers. I shot right through the hole. I did it again. I literally shot right through the hole where the hook hangs. I did it again. Now, I'm going to put all of these on the head of the next target. Oh, we had a failure. What happened here? Well, that seems to be a problem. Uh, okay. Well, that's awful weird. <clears throat> Let me just start this one over. I'm just going to go center mass on the target. All right, I don't like that. It's starting to do that on this magazine a lot. <laughs> guys, I like it. All right, guys, I'm gonna run two more magazines through it and then I'm gonna go on to the next new toy. 15, 16 more rounds of blazer. We're gonna go center mass mag dump. Man, that that can really uh that can really uh kind of messes that up. Let's do it again. Guys, you can see this, see this right here? All this? This is an aluminum constructed can. And whenever it did what it did and messed up on me, I had to remove a baffle. And unfortunately, when I put that cap back on a different baffle, it kind of was really tight where there's some carbon buildup and the threads had been used to sit in a certain way. And it, it's, it's stuck, I can't get this cap off. So anyways, guys, this Taurus TX-22, I mean, it, it's pretty daggone impressive. I'm glad it came with a threaded barrel, but I do think that I need to put one magazine through it unsuppressed and see how the real, or see how the accuracy is because I know that suppressor is causing me some problems. All right, I'm gonna aim on the head of each target with each mag. Didn't even load the next round in. Yeah. 
That's <laughs> that's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna aim center mass on the other one. Failure. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I am at about 10, 12 yards though. I was thinking, you know, I should be shooting better, but this is the first group, you know? I was like, well, I'll tighten it up a little bit. And then that's the second group. So you have to understand that's as long as my pinky. So that's a, that's a good group. All right, guys, so I hope that you all enjoyed my first shots review on the little Taurus TX-22. I'll definitely do a one, two, three, five thousand round review. You guys know how I do. I like to shoot a lot. So I will have a huge, huge, huge review coming on this soon and see how well this one actually holds up. Um, those were the first shots. The, all the magazines, I'm going to go back and count those and see how many rounds I've got through it. And then I will literally go to the range with the difference and make it a, an actual 1,000 round review. Uh, you know me, I'll record every bit of it. But guys, remember, like, subscribe, share, comment down below, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. All right, guys, until next time, I love you. Y'all stay safe.